What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and let's talk Apple. So uh, iPhone 7, some MacBook rumors, a lot of good stuff going on right now because in the past week, you know, we're inching closer and closer to WWDC. Oh my gosh, Monday, it's gonna happen on Monday. I'm so excited because this is the point where we learn where Apple is going. So uh, past week, there have been a lot of new rumors and details on the iPhone 7. Just wanted to cover it like usual in a little update video for you. So the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus have been leaked in case renders. So a company that's selling their own cases for these phones has went ahead and created listings to sell the cases early at the end of June. Now, I don't know how accurate this is, but I got to say they're very closely related to all of the rumors we've heard about the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. So the iPhone 7 Plus has a smart connector cut out on the case. I honestly don't see what the heck that could be for like if that smart connector is going to be used for something i doubt it's going to have a cable that'll go and plug into it magnetically it just doesn't make sense to me but then again apple will enlighten us towards uh, september of course at their event but other than that we can see it has a dual lens camera and the interesting thing is there are now two microphones up top on the bottom there is a microphone cut out as well so will the iphone 7 plus have four microphones including one right next to the camera very interesting. I mean, Apple is always trying to get better noise cancellation on their devices, so this would certainly make sense. Also on the iPhone 7, nothing really special. The lens does protrude on the camera as well, but overall it looks very, very similar to the current iPhone 6S. But hey, we already knew that, didn't we? There's going to be a three-year cycle between new iPhones, so we're not going to be seeing major changes anymore. And I wanted to share these with you. So Martin Hajek, I think that's how you say it, uh, he's actually a very, very beautiful concept artist. He's got a ton of great renders on devices. Before they were even released he does basically concepts based on rumors so he's got a new set of the new iphone 7 and 7 plus and they look fantastic so from new angles he's got the camera with a slight bevel to it which i don't know if that's how it's going to be we've seen a lot of concepts where it's either abrupt like it is currently on the 6s or it slopes up towards the lens so i'm very curious how it'll be but i definitely think it looks good the antenna bands look very subtle and the iphone 7 plus has that smart connector so if you want to check these out in high resolution be sure to visit the link down below in the description. This guy is very, very talented. I love all of his work. And this is a very accurate depiction of the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. So the iPhone 7 is going blue. The latest rumor from Mac Takara, a Japanese blog, is saying that Apple will be replacing space gray with a deep blue color. And this is sort of an image, a little mock-up they gave us to go with it. Now, hmm. I don't know how I feel about this. The iPod Touch has a very similar color. It's probably not as dark as it's rumored to be, but if Apple actually replaced the iPhone with this color, I think a lot of people would be unhappy. Space Gray is a very, very popular color. I think to make an addition to the lineup, a fifth color would be acceptable, but to replace Space Gray, I don't know. The only thing I would replace Space Gray with is a dark black color for the iPhone, a completely, you know, like jet black like the iPhone 5. That would be great, but, you know, who knows? And it's a very sketchy rumor. It's really unconfirmed, but this blog has had some points in the past where, you know, it's rumors that it pointed out did happen to be true. So whether or not this new color option will happen, who knows? I just think it's a very interesting choice. So in the past, I have talked extensively about Intel and Apple's partnership on the iPhone 7. We know that Intel will be making a majority of the LTE chips for the iPhone 7. Now another partner has been introduced. So Qualcomm will be making about 60% of the LTE modem chips for the iPhone 7. So it'll be between Intel and Qualcomm. What's more interesting is that they will not be making the very same LTE chip. Intel will be focusing on AT&T and some other major carriers in the USA, whereas Qualcomm will be working on Verizon and Chinese carriers. So not every iPhone 7 will have the same LTE chip just like the iPhone 6S does not have the same manufactured A9 chip, one from Samsung and one from TSMC. So very interesting. I'm kind of curious to see how they perform, but officially on paper, Qualcomm's is superior. It has a download speed of 600 megabits, whereas Intel's only has 450. However, don't worry about which one you get really, because at this point in time, carriers can't even provide 450 reliable megabits download speed. So you'll really never even reach it. So while we're on the topic of hardware, Bluetooth is about to come out with a new standard 5.0 next week. So this would actually bring two times the speed and four times the range of current Bluetooth 4.2 technology used in the iPhone 6S. And this is really good news. Apple, you know, through every generation often upgrades the Bluetooth standard of their devices. And the iPhone 7 will very likely have this. However, it's just, you know, a hunch. It's unconfirmed. I'm just thinking, you know, it's the logical step to upgrade the iPhone to this new standard. Now, what's cool is that this update may actually even be available to older devices like the 6S through a software update. 
Apple actually updated Bluetooth from 4.0 on the iPhone 6, 6 Plus, and iPad Air 2 to Bluetooth 4.2 through a similar software update. However, just because of how much difference there is, it probably will be a hardware upgrade and it'll be exclusive to the iPhone 7 if it does come with it. So something really neat, Apple was just granted a patent for a waterproofing technology on the speaker. The patent was actually titled Liquid Resistant Acoustic Device, and it basically details a method where a mesh umbrella covers the speaker port, and it's also got an oleophobic coating, so it repels water from it. It's unknown if this would actually be true waterproofing, but most likely water resistance, as that is detailed in the patent notes. Now, about waterproofing in general, about the iPhone 7, it's unlikely to happen. That was a rumor way back, but now, you know, analysts have revised that and said it will not be happening this year, most likely next year in 2017 with the new seamless display technology, front glass and back. It'll just work better and be easier to protect the internals using that design next year. I would love waterproofing on my iPhone. I think Galaxy is far ahead of Apple in terms of the technology they have in their S7 right now, but hopefully Apple does catch up even if it's a year or two behind. And I just wanted to throw this in here. So Motorola has actually released new phones titled Z Force and they have no headphone jack. So in case you were wondering if Apple is crazy in their quest for removing headphone jack, they're not. A lot of phone manufacturers are beating Apple to the punch and removing their own headphone jacks before Apple even gets to it. Apple knows the future. Even if we don't at this moment, they usually know where everything is going and they'll prepare for it even earlier than people anticipate. So so uh, very, very last thing is this really, really cool concept of the MacBook Pro. So also Martin Hezek, and um, this is amazing. Based on the rumors, we knew that there would be an OLED panel on the very top that would replace the function keys, and oh my gosh, this looks so, so beautiful. Apple, I didn't know I would lust after something that doesn't exist this much. I mean, I want this very, very bad, so I'm hoping that this gets announced at Worldwide Developers Conference in just a few days. Man, even if Apple doesn't release it until later, I just, I just want them to give us some hope that the Mac lineup isn't dead. Anyways, guys. There you go, that is the update on the iPhone 7 and just a couple of things that Apple is working on. So very, very interesting stuff. Just a few days here, guys, hang in there. I'm so, so excited, but also prepared to be disappointed because Apple has had a lot of that lately. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and stay tuned for the next update. Peace.